One of the last questions I have is about uh, other features and technologies. I know that there's a couple different trolley styles for these systems, but I just wanted to have you just take some time to kind of go into these systems, what different versions uh, people might see in the market and, you know, what different variations they have options for when they're uh, specking out a new hoist. All of our hoists, our NER hoist comes fully featured. So there are a number of them. We did touch upon two of them, which I'll go over uh, again. Uh, but first of all, let's talk about capacities. So these NER hoists, we have eighth ton up to five ton in our normal capacity range, and then up to 20 ton for our large capacity range. Uh, they are available hook mount. They're available with push-pull trolley, hand-geared trolley, or motorized trolley. So some of the features we spoke about, the dual speed VFD already comes with a 12 to one ratio as far as speed adjustment. Within that VFD, we also have our overload limiter and thermal motor protection. So in a lot of our competitors hoist, those are different parts that could break, which would require additional repair. Ours are included in the VFD. All of these NER hoists are totally enclosed, fan cooled, H4 classified with a 60 minute motor, which is able to achieve over 300 starts per hour. Actually, our NER uh, has been tested and we can achieve 360 starts per hour, which is the industry leader. Uh, another great feature is plug and play pendant and power supply cords. So for instance, if you damage a pendant or a pendant uh, isn't operating properly, uh, rather than wait for a pendant to come in, have somebody hardwired into the hoist, all you have to do is unscrew the uh, current pendant, and if you have one on the shelf or Mozilla has one for the, the customer, ship it to them. They can plug it in and be back up and running in no time. We provide a grade A nickel plated chain with a smaller pitch design. It adds additional strength, but also it allows us to have a deeper pocket groove inside the hoist, and we also supply an extra pocket, so more surface contact, additional strength. And along with that, because of the smaller pitch, we're able to design the hoist around the pocket wheel. So we're able to make a smaller hoist. So our NER1 series versus our NER2 series, that's when we made the change in the chain. Um, this is a smaller sized hoist, so you get additional headroom than any on NER1s. So our nickel plated chain also is a cold dipped process which requires no electrification in order to have the plating adhere to the chain. Whenever you have electrification to have the plating on the chain, it, it can make the chain susceptible to hydrogen embrittlement, which can make it uh, less safe than uh, a plating that doesn't require that electrification. So it's solid the whole way through the link. Um, so just another added safety feature with our process of nickel plating as opposed to any type of plating from our competition. An additional feature we have is our one-piece cast iron chain guide. Uh, simply remove four bolts and the chain guide comes out. Uh, no need to crack the hoist open. So it also allows a tolerance for some real world applications. We understand every hoist should be lifting in a straight up and down fashion, but we also understand in the real world, sometimes angle pulls do occur. Uh, this cast iron chain guide does allow for a certain tolerance. If you've ever seen uh, an angle pull on some of the competition, especially a two-piece stamped steel chain guide, uh, it becomes a giant mess. Um, so with ours, it does allow for a certain degree of angle pulling. Uh, again, we don't suggest that you angle pull with our hoist, but it can uh, handle a certain amount. Couple more features and benefits for you. Uh, we talked about the Guardian Smart Brake already. Uh, the one thing I did not mention in the beginning when we talked about it is our 10 year warranty. That's the industry leader. Uh, if you have a brake that needs replaced from 10 years of the purchase of the hoist, we replace it. We, we cover all the costs. The UL 1340 conformance, uh, every one of the NERs is UL 1340, uh, which is the standard for hoist. Um, the upper and lower limit switches are made of cast iron, so they're more durable uh, than most limit switches. And then one feature that we do have uh, that is not standard is we offer a smart limit switch as well. So rather than worrying about a new operator running the hook up into the hoist, you can set our smart limit switch uh, strictly through our pendant. It's an easy way to program it. You can set points for the upward motion and then also set points on the downward travel as well. So for instance, if uh, you don't want your hook running into some type of plating dipping tank, you can set it to stop right before it hits that level. 
And then we offer a couple different hoists that are the NER model. However, they're specific for two different industries. We have a food grade hoist, which is available for food industry and also great in pharmaceutical. Uh, those capacities run quarter ton through two ton. A um, couple features on it are food grade oil for lubricant, a white epoxy paint on the body and hooks, stainless steel and nickel plated components. And we also have for the entertainment business our TNER, which stands for Theater NER. Uh, it has a unique chain guide that allows the hoist to operate with the load chain from the top. It's IP55 sealed just like the rest of our NERs. So in that industry, uh, a lot of times for outdoor rigging, um, when these shows are complete to competition, you will have to pull apart the hoist and let them air out. With ours being IP55 rated, there's no need for it. Uh, they do have plug-and-play voltage changer on the spot, and they're designed to fit in road cases for the entertainment rigging companies. So, great hoist. So, I know that Mozilla offers parts and part replacement. You had mentioned earlier that if you have a pendant that gets damaged or you have to remove it, you can replace another one if you have it on the shelf. Where do people typically go to buy these replacements if they need new chain, if they need new pendant controllers, if they need anything? Do they work through a company like Mozilla? Do they work through Harrington directly? Where does an end user go to replace anything that needs replaced? We sell strictly through distributors, so they cannot purchase these parts through us directly. And uh, funny that you mention that, Mozilla happens to be one of our master parts distributors. So you guys supply many of the parts and you have them already on your shelf. You had mentioned earlier that if people you know, are looking for manuals or they're trying to find troubleshooting guides, you have a lot of information on your YouTube channel already. Are there other places that you would direct them to learn more about any of the hoists that Arrington offers? You can contact any of your local sales reps. If you go onto our website, you uh, can punch in the first three numbers of your zip code you're located, and it'll pull up the information for the local territory rep, such as myself. And we can help you with any questions you might have, make on-site visits, obviously, or if it's a technical question, we can also guide you to our tech support team, which is based out of Mannheim, Pennsylvania. I always say that these conversations are just a starting point for end users. Use this as a good starting point to understand what's available, some of the features and technologies, so you can understand, you know, is this the right thing for your application? Or if you need more information, here are the places where you can go to learn more. So Eric is a great resource. Uh, anybody and all of our lifting specialists at Mozilla, they'd be happy to talk to you about these Harrington Hoist to make sure that you're getting exactly what you need. Because maybe it's not this NER3 phase, but they have other, you know, application specific hoist for you. So definitely do your research so you make sure that you're getting exactly what you need for your appropriate application. So uh, again, Eric, I really thank you for your time today. I appreciate it. Thank you, Devin. I appreciate the opportunity to uh, promote my product on, uh, on all of your social media platforms. Thank you. And so for everybody that stuck with us that checked this out, you know, if you like this video, uh, make sure you like it, subscribe to the Lifting and Rigging channel so you don't miss out on anything else that we make. And if you know somebody who's thinking about buying a new hoist, be it Harrington or anybody else, make sure that you share this video with them so they have a better understanding of what's out there on that market so they're making the proper decision. So for all of us at Mozilla, the Lifting and Rigging channel, and Harrington, we appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time.